welcome to the beginners course on google ad engine so in this tutorial i will try to show you how you can easily export the shape file in google ad engine so exporting shape file in google ad engine so you can easily use export the different types of vector data in csv format or shape file or json or kml format okay so now i will try to show you how you can easily export the shape file from the google earth engine so export shape files in earth engine you must to be clear about the elements that can be exported so first of all you need to using the digitized geometry okay so first of all you can see here today i will try to show you how you can easily use the digitizing and easily get the vector format data using the google earth engine so first of all you need to make your area of interest you simply click to here drawing shape and now you can digitize your area so now i digitize here randomly i digitized this leg okay so i randomly digitized this leg So you can see here, I completed the digitizing. So now I want to make or export this area in shapefile format. Okay. So how you can do this for this? So you can simply, first of all, you need to make, you can see here in your script already default, uh, add this script here. So when you click to here, you can see all of these coordinates or latitude or longitude will be appeared in here. So here you can see this is the default variable name. This variable name is geometry. So if you want, you can change it. So now I will change it. So here this name I will give here the AOI. So now you want to use here the e feature collection function to work together on the elements to be exported. So here I here now I used here the e feature collection. So here I use the e feature collection for this here I take the another new variable. So here I use the bar AOI new collection. You can use any name this variable. So here I use this name AOI new collection and use here the ee dot feature collection. This is the function feature collection e feature collection. Okay. So then I use here the with the combine all of this AOI. So here you can see this is our all of this polygon are will be added in this the variable AOI. So I simply copy this and paste here AOI. So now you can see in this variable AOI new collection will all of this all of this uh, polygon this polygon will be added using this variable name AOI new collection. So now I want to use here the export the data in the traditional way including the collection to be exported so first of all here i use this here the export to export table to drive function you can see here the all of this requirement are available here you can see so here i used here the curly brackets because i want to all of this make a dictionary so here i use the curly brackets 
so now i define all of this value so here you can see first value is the collection so which collection so you can see the key value will be that aoi new collection so because all of this collection will be stored in this variable okay so then description so description can be anything you can use here the default name or name what you want to use here so here i use the shape file okay then folder it's not be needed for this time file name prefix it also not be needed but file format is needed so you define here which format you will be needed so here i want to export this file in shape file so here i use the extension of shape file this extension is that shp then selector also not uh, needed not needed here so i can select max var vertex is also needed not needed so i cancel this so when you click to run you can see your tax tab will be opened you can see tax tab will be opened and you can see this uh, shape file which description you used here you can use this same name in this tax tab under this tax tab so when i click to run you can see and then when i click to run you can see tax tab will be running and it when you, it will be completed you can see the tick mark chain will be appeared beside this name okay so this is the one way so if you want to export this file in another way so if you prefer to have the compress this file in download directly url you can use the traditional get download url this is the also function so now i i will try to show you how you can easily make a link and when you click to the link this shape file will be automatically downloaded so for this first of all you need to make a variable this variable name is var and used here the aoi url i gave this name url okay and now here i use first of all here i use the collection variable name this is my collection variable name aoi new collection and then here i use the function get download url this is the function get download url i use this function you can see this is the argument of this function first argument is that format which format you want to download it so in this basically in this at, uh, in this case i will download it the shape file so i use here the dot shp then selector is not important and then you can see here the file name you define the file name any file name okay so then callback function is also not needed in this case so now i define this all of this argument using a dictionary so for this here i use the curly brackets and define first for first uh, re requirement is the format so i used here the format and uh, and this format is uh, for shape file for this here i use the dot shp this is the format i defined then i also define here the file name file name and this file name you can use any name here so here i use this file name is the shape file okay i use here the shape file so now i define this link so now i want to print this link so i use here the print function and i want to give a message so anyone can easily understand what's the link meaning so here i mainly in this link here you can easily download so here i can use the click to download this shape file so i indicate that and then i used here this variable name because the link will be stored in this variable name so i used here the ay url when i click run you can see the console tab will be running you can see the console tab will be running you can see click to download this shape file so when you click to the click to this link this shape file will be automatically downloaded it not to storage in your google drive so when you click to here you can see new tab will be opened and your new shape file will be downloaded you can see this shape file will be downloaded easily and if you want to see and unzip easily go to this folder and click here and click to extract to shape file you can see this shape file will be appeared in here so
so if you want you can easily this shape file in another software so here i use the art map i open the shape file okay so now you can see the shape file will be opened in your art map software so you can easily export this any shape file or any boundary file which you needed from google earth engine you can easily to do this so if you have like this video please comment and share this video and if you have to do course in google earth engine basic to advanced course from me you can contact with me this email this email will be give in my description video description you can easily contact through this email okay so okay thank you for watching this video